Hello friends, I'm Smita Katti. I blog at smilingcolors.com. You can also find me on Instagram as The Shiny Nest. In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating a beautiful pineapple quote sketch. I'll show you how you can paint a pineapple quickly in your sketchbook. There are just few steps involved in this. And then we're going to be lettering a quote on top of it. This is one of my favorite things to do. I enjoy writing down quotes. And when you use a beautiful lettering to do your quotes, it just makes everything look so much more prettier. So let's get started. So I have my sketchbook here today. This is a mixed media sketchbook. It's a 9 by 9 inch one. And it has paper in it that's 90 pound weight. When you're doing watercoloring with your Tombow Dual Brush pens, I always like a 140 pound one. But this 90 pound weight one also works quite well. And I'll show it in this video. I've started already here by sketching out my quote. I don't always do this. But sometimes if it's a really long quote, I like to have a sketch in place. This just makes sure that I'm not missing words by lettering. I like using mechanical pencils simply because I don't have to worry about sharpening them. I can carry them around easily. So before lettering, I will erase the pencil lines. And I'm using a dust catch eraser. This one's by Tombow. And I love it because it doesn't stain. Remember like when you have a white eraser and you, and you erase a lot, it gets smudged with black lines? This eraser is always black and that's really cool about it. Okay, so now I'm going to start sketching a pineapple shape on the side. School is out over here and summer's in the air and I'm sorry I haven't been sharing too many videos lately but I've been enjoying springtime, cleaning out the house and spending some time with family. And as soon as the summer weather comes out, you start thinking about pineapples, watermelons, flamingos, all those trendy things. So I thought a pineapple quote would be perfect for the season. So I'm drawing a sketch here. It doesn't have to be perfect, definitely not. I'm just drawing rough outlines. I want an oval shape for the pineapple, some green leaves on top, and then I'm just going to sketch a diamond shape inside. I don't erase and make my sketch perfect. I'm anyhow going to erase all of this. I just want to know how big and how and where I want to place everything. Now to color the pineapple, I'm going to be using my Tombow Dual Brush pens. If you've watched any video on my channel, you know I love these pens. I reach for them over and over again. They're just so versatile and beautiful in colors. So today I've chosen five colors over here and you can take a screenshot of it right here if you want the color numbers. I'm also using a number six round paintbrush. This is a really old one but it works well and I like the round tip for this purpose. To choose my colors, I've actually used a watercolor guide that I created. I created this swatch chart of all of my Tombow Jewel Brush pens and I actually made a video of it and I'll be sharing it soon here so you can all understand how to make it yourself. So stay tuned for that. But let's get back to our pineapple quote and what I'm going to do here is erase my lines. I'm going to take the eraser and I'm not going to erase everything completely but I want to just see a bare faint outline of everything. And like you can see I've almost erased the words completely and when I go over the lines with a pen one thing I'll make sure to do is completely cover those little bit of visible lines. That's my trick basically. I write everything down in a pencil and then I erase it till I can almost see nothing and then I go over it with a pen carefully. So first let's start watercoloring. I'm going to start by drawing triangles with two colors. I have the yellow and the orange. You want to work in small areas. Put down the marker color and then spread quickly. I like to spread one color and then have it meet the other color. And the reason I do this is because I want the two colors to meet somewhere and have a variation in tones. So you want to put down the marker color, maybe choose two, three areas that are far from each other and spread them with a little bit of water. This is not a watercolor paper, so I'm not applying too much water. I try to control the amount of water I add. And then I just keep continuing in this manner, drawing more and more diamonds and painting in until I have a pineapple shape. Once I have my pineapple shape, I'm just going to add some green for the leaves, add a touch of pink to bring in some whimsy and mix things up. So now the diamond shapes have had a little bit of time to dry. I'm going to go in with my darker yellow color and just add a few highlights and shading just to give it a little bit more depth. So after a few minutes, I came back to check on it and you can see this paper isn't really thick. And you can see here clearly when I flip the paper over, this is a 90 pound paper and the paper kind of warps a little bit on the back here. If you're using a 140 pound paper, this would never happen. But on this paper, there's a slight warp 
but since this is a sketchbook and I close it, it kind of flattens back, so I'm okay with that. Originally, I had planned to do my lettering with my N15 dual brush pen, but I can see that the pineapple was going to take a lot more time to dry, and so I quickly changed gears here, and I'm going to use the Mono Twin Permanent Marker to do my lettering. I use this pen all the time for my drawing illustrations, and I usually use the pen tip. But today, to make the lettering look a little bolder, I'm going to use the marker tip, and I'm just going to add my letters in, tracing over all the pencil lines that I have. The pencil lines are more of a guide right now. Like when I'm doing the word pineapple, I can't really see where the E is. But I, can, but I know how much space I have left over there, so I'm fine with that. So the quote that I'm lettering today says, Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And I just love the word. Not only that, I actually kind of love the way the whole quote turned out. The lettering just came out so sweet on this. Now the reason why I switched to the Mono Twin Permanent Marker is, this pen is oil-based. The dual brush pen is water-based, which is why we're able to watercolor with it. So if I were to do the black lettering on top of the pineapple, and if the pineapple hadn't dried yet, our black lettering would just start to bleed and it would look ugly. So just to avoid all of the drama, I used the oil-based pen, that is the black Mono Twin Permanent Marker here. This is oil-based, so even if your paper is a little bit damp, it will not react to it, it will not spoil the way the pineapple looks right now, and it will just stay beautiful. This is one of my favorite pens for this reason. You can draw in your lines and then watercolor on top of it. You can use it easily over watercoloring. It's just so versatile. And this is how my final coat turned out. I really, really enjoyed making this, of course, and I love positive words. When I write down a quote that is inspiring and positive, it just makes me feel more happier for the day. It brightens my mood, it makes me more focused, and you start seeing positivity around you, and you start ignoring all the negative things that's happening. So I hope you have a crafty day yourself. For more information, stop by my blog, or DM me, or leave a comment below this. If you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, subscribe to my channel, do all those good things so that I know that you're out there, and I'll see you all again in another video. Till then, happy crafting!